of National Science Day. National Science Day is celebrated on 28th February each year across India to mark the discovery of Raman effect by Sir C. V. Raman. And for this discovery, he was awarded the first Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930. So this year, the theme is Future of STR, Impacts of Education, Skills and Work. This theme has been chosen to raise the public appreciation, raise the public appreciation of the scientific issues involved and the impact of science on education, work and skill that we all have in our daily life. This theme encourages the youth for a future with education, skills and work in science. So we celebrate this year to make our youth aware about the contribution of Dr. C. V. Raman. So let's put our hands together to celebrate this day. May I now request our principal sir and our teachers to garland the portrait of Sir C. V. Raman. Existence of living things 
organs are required a specific pH for their ideal growth and development. In the human body, all the physiological reactions take place in the pH of 7 to 7 point 8. The existence of aquatic plants, animals and microbes is at risk when acid rains mix with natural water bodies. pH is important in digestion of food. Below 5.5, bacteria present in food and mouth break down food particles left in the mouth and form acids. This result in lowering the pH of mouth. Tooth powder and toothpaste which are used for cleaning the teeth are basic in nature. They neutralize the acid produced in the mouth and protect the teeth from decay. So it is advised to brush our teeth twice a day. Importance of pH in soil. The pH of soil is a critical factor in the growth of crops and other plants. pH 6.5 to 7.3 is ideal for the growth of sugar and crops. Or more basic feature of crops, which is harmful to our body. So it is necessary to avail the farmers and make them to test pH of the soil. We have some solution. We have we have some unknown solution. We will check its pH by adding universal indicator. We can see the solution term which indicates which indicates red as a strong acid. Here the color of the solution which which change into purple color which indicates strong base. The color of this solution change into blue which indicates weak base. The color of the solution change into pink, pink color which indicates weak acid. Nowadays we are doing registration for soil care. This pair is to boost up the economy of our country. Our Indian government is encouraging for indigenous toys. So one of our students, Abhijya from class 10A, is here with his toy model. Good morning, everyone. My name is Abhijya. I am from class 10A. And today, I am going to explain how the electrons revolve around the nucleus of the atom. What is atomic number and what is atomic mass? So, I have prepared a model of carbon atom. Now, let us see who is it. Its similar to looks like planets revolve revolving around the sun. Now, we will see what is atomic number. It's just the number of protons present in the nucleus of the atom. Protons and neutrons together make up the nucleus of the atom. Now, now we will see what is atomic mass number. It's the sum of number of protons and number of neutrons in the nucleus of the atom. At the end, I would like to thank our principal sir for promoting this type of eco-friendly toys for teaching and learning things. Thank you. So, I was to be celebrated yesterday by Bangalore Sunday. Today we are celebrating and the support I should congratulate our science department, especially Sri Malagarjana Guru for taking the initiative and the writing a report for a very uh, effective program. Yes, children, the need of the hour is uh, scientific development and scientific thinking. Don't believe anything which is not having scientific backing. Don't believe in superstition. Hear said. Don't believe. If there is something which has some scientific value, scientific backing, then we will believe. Otherwise, our country will be pulled back. 
and the need of the hour is to inculcate scientific thinking, investigation, enquiry, etc. in the minds of the children. An urge for the invention. See, years back when Sir C. V. Raman invented Raman effect, there were no modern equipment computers that you see today. With the primitive equipment, very old primitive okay, equipment, he was able to establish this diamond effect theory that is scattering of light and the change of wavelength of light when this passed through a dead free medium. And it has numerous, numerous wide applications. Today, the spectrography, diamond spectrography invented by Sir Raman is widely used in all medical fields for diagnosis purpose, for the controlling, for finding, checking the quality of uh, drugs and even what not, even detecting bombs, Raman effect theory is being used. In one of the world's scientific fields, on small engines, scattering of light. And when he was cooking in Calcutta University, with the primitive equipment, he could invent and he could win the highest prize for any scientist that is Nobel Prize. There are other inventions from our country to that extent are very seldom come after doing research in India. Of course, good brains go elsewhere outside the country, do very tough research and some of them come out with flying colors with the Nobel Prize. There are other scientists also who have won Nobel Prize, but they are, they are not Indian citizens. They might have been born in India, but migrated to other countries, working in other scientific labs outside the country, mostly in the US. So, under the ages of Atmanirmar Bharat, our country should be able to establish such scientific institute of repute, which can produce Nobel laureates in the future, do research in our country itself, and get Nobel laureates like Sir C. V. Raman. I don't know whether you know or not, Dr. C. V. Raman worked for many years in Indian Institute of Science Bio as the director. Thereafter, he founded with his uh, Nobel Prize money, he founded Raman Institute in Baku, which is an institute of very high reviews uh, in the field of scientific research. Many scholars to research there in uh, Baku and uh, get their uh, doctorate in uh, their uh, subject field of study. So there is a lot of opportunity for you to do hardcore scientific research, although you are interested, lot of efforts are required, and also there should be the God-given gift of intuition also to become a very good scientist. With a lot of lot, lot, and lot of hard work and the inspiration from the above, yes, it is all possible. So a country if it has to progress. We need a lot of scientists to discover such facts which has not been invented so far, which will enable the humankind, mankind, progress for further and also live in a better and happy world. Our next generation should be enjoying more and more fruits of uh, the scientific advancement. For that, yes, lot of hard work research is required and in India it is not very, uh, it is not to that great extent. They have come generally our country is good. Instead of people, West brains going outside the country, they should be given a platform, they should be given enough 
area here in our country itself to do the best type kind of research and come out with results of world review. That is the need of the hour and I am very sure our government will take care of it and a and, lot uh, uh, of scientific institutes will be giving opportunity for the aspiring students to become very good scientists. So, this is my message for you today. Thank you very much. Once again, I congratulate all those who are involved in the Uruguay National Science Thank you. Respected Minister, our staff members, and the general public, a very good morning to all of you. It gives me an immense pleasure to give a lot of thanks for this event to be in this So, I would like to thank Principal Sir who promote the scientific temple and the students who always uh, encourages the need to conduct this type of organization and the teachers are there. For example, if any operators are different from the other without the education of these sanctions. So we want all uh, these students uh, to get a uh, first scientific temple. We have to get exposed to the science. So this is what I would like to thank you. And we mentioned one thing that we should have scientific temple, both the students. That is the reason in our country, God will not more than the universe. So, what they do, they do the interpretation. They do magic. And the people who study science, just they blindly they go, because they study it for math. They don't study it for where is what and why. Why it is some colors are coming, why and where they are going, the good people are bringing the gold, or what they eat. So, no one thinks, just they go and stand up. So, we got a future generation. So at last I would like to thank students who are very senior to welcome. They came up for the morning day. They wanted to do excited today. Without this excitement, they came up for the morning day. So I thank them also. Or at the end, happy Sunday once again. So thank you. Now we can move to the last one.